Cody here with another video for you guys today and I want to thank everyone for all the birthday wishes and stuff before we get started with today's video but uh, yeah I really appreciate it you guys um, got a lot of fun cool things coming in the near future I'll mention at the end of the video so stay tuned for that but today we are going to be taking a look at one of my birthday gifts this is a 1-1 scale Dragon Ball specifically the four star Dragon Ball that uh, Goku has and then eventually gives Gohan. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy to finally have a 1-1 scale um, Dragon Ball. I got it to put up here with my um, TV show collection as like a little prop replica thing for all the shows that I have. And uh, yeah, so I got this at the mall because the malls are open and uh, I got to enjoy walking around there and I ran across this. And uh, yeah, so very nice and you guys can see all the nice detail in the package of the gold and black right there. This is released by Abastyle. I've never heard of the company before. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and take this out of the packaging and look at it real quick. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm a semi-casual fan of Dragon Ball Z or just Dragon Ball in general. My cousin Bo is like one of the biggest fans of Dragon Ball and um you tried to get me into it a while ago when i was a kid i never got into it because i was still into the power ranger phase so um yeah i just recently bought the tv show and he's been showing me also the team four star videos that have uh have been coming out but here it is guys look at that i love that shot by the way you can see my fat face through <laughs> through the uh the video but you can see it's the four stars right there and it's nice Nice resin casted. It's got some weight to it, so it feels premium. It's not cheap at all. It kind of feels like a Fushigi almost. Have you guys ever heard of a Fushigi? That's that's pretty much what this is. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a little orange Fushigi with four, four stars inside of it. But no, this is a Dragon Ball. This right here is the epitome of everything that the show is based on is, well, it's the title. Um, title of the show is a dragon ball <laughs> look at me trying to sound like i know what the hell i'm talking about uh anyway so yes four star dragon ball right here i do not know if they manufacture any other ones when i saw the ones that were in there there were only four other dragon balls and they were all four star this is the most recognized one from from the show right here and it does come with a base and it says dragon ball z right there um I think that is also the logo of, uh, if I remember correctly, this is the logo that's on Goku's, um, you know, weighted outfit or whatever his orange outfit. I don't know what it's called. You guys are going to be like, why is this guy reviewing Dragon Ball stuff when he knows nothing? Because I'm still watching the show. I'm still watching it. I'm trying. Okay. I'm on season four. I just got through the Frieza saga. What an epic freaking fight. But yes, I'm getting through it. Anyway, yes, there is the base, and uh, there's all the information on the bottom there. So this actually holds very well, um, as you can see. And it looks nice on the shelf. Like I said, I do keep it over here uh, with my uh, my movie collection, my TV show collection. But this this is nice. I am very happy to finally have something like this, and it it really is a lot better that uh, this actually is a premium-esque uh, prop replica. Um, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, it it does feel amazing. Um, so yeah, it's it's nice looking, very nice. And if I had to say, it, it, does, it feels like the weight of a baseball. If anybody wants to really know how much it weighs, that's pretty much how much it weighs. Uh, it's about the same size as a baseball too, if I'm just being honest, but um, yeah, it is resin casted, so you do have a, it's solid resin. It's in two pieces, if you can't tell when you, uh, turn it right there. The two pieces come together to, you know, show the, you know, four stars. So, yeah. I don't think they've ever actually attempted to do something where you can avoid that. Um, but this, this, this is nice. This is a really nice little prop replica to have. Um, so yeah, that was a little birthday gift to myself, and I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to get that out of the way. I used to have little small ones, 
um, that I used to keep on display, but I gave them to my cousin because I got him Sean Shamil's, or Shimmel, Shamil, Shamil, whatever the hell his name is, voices Goku, uh, got his autograph. Um, so I decided to give him those little, little ones kind of display with it because I do firmly believe that displaying autographs with a prop next to it adds some dimension and it makes everybody happy. All right, guys. So we are at the final countdown. 10 more days. 10 more days we are leaving to go to New Jersey. And I had a lot of people asking me why we're going to New Jersey. I did post a few things on the wall, uh, the community wall. Um, and I explained what we're all doing, uh, but I'll explain it here. In a couple, uh, not a couple weeks, it's 10, it's 10 days. It's a week and a half-ish, whatever. Um, we're going to be going to New Jersey on the 8th of July. And um, we're going because we're going to be in uh, Red Bank to see Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes, who played Jay and Silent Bob for the past 30 some odd years. Um, they're holding an event at the Secret Stash, the new location, for Jason Muse's birthday. And, well, long story short, we got tickets to go, and we're going to meet them. We're going to explore the Secret Stash, take some pictures. They got some of the props from, you know, Clerks and uh, Clerks 2, Dogma. They got the actual Buddy Christ statue there. And <laughs> I just recently watched this movie, so... I'll give my full opinion on it at some point, but Bo made me watch Tusk. What a messed up movie, but Mr. Tuskegee is actually in The Secret Stash, and I am going to take a picture with Mr. Tusk, so that would be amazing. Um, and also, uh, since we're going on the 8th, the event is on the 10th, we're going to spend all of the 9th in uh, Manhattan, New York. We're going to go to New York, we're going to explore there, we're going to go to the 9-11 Museum, we're going to go, you know, uh, take a look at all these great... Um, moments in New York um, and uh, keep it uh, filmed for you guys. We're going to enjoy that and put it on camera. We're going to make a little like vlogging adventure or sort of a, a movie of some sorts. Um, and then finally on, on the 10th, uh, since we've got pretty much the whole day after the, you know, the secret stash, we're going to go to uh, Leonardo, New Jersey, which is where the quick stop is filmed um, for Clarks. That's where they uh, did all the exterior and interior shots of Clarks. And we're going to go there and take a look at both the exterior and interior. Take some photos of us leaning up against the quick stop and go check out the interior of it and see where the very first Clarks movie was filmed. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to Elmont, New York to visit my hero, uh, Andy Kaufman's grave. Um, I just feel like it's really something I should do to um, show my respect to someone who inspired my my humor and everything that I've ever um, been inspired by comes from Andy Kaufman. So I, yeah, that's going to be a fun trip. I'm very excited. Jonathan's excited. Bo's excited. All three of us are going to go and have a great time. And I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and uh, we will... Uh, you know, keep you guys updated. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of it wasn't for, you know, the focus of the Dragon Ball, but it's still, still gorgeous. It's beautiful. Anyway, guys, I will be back with more videos soon. I'll talk to you guys later.